Watch the entire video my lovely viewers, I mean from start to finish, to get the whole thing. Without wasting much of your time, let's get right into it. Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. Francis Sivia, we love you man of God. We need you in Zambia. God bless you. One day, one day on a very, very good day, I will come to Zambia, I will visit Zambia. Uh, Zambia is a home to me. Many of you know, you know, and many of you don't know. Zambia is a home to me. I, I can say that I grew up there. I spent, I've been to so many countries, but there is no country that I spent much time and felt in love with than uh, Zambia. If I, and, and when I was in Zambia, many people benefited. Many people don't know my exit from Zambia, my deportation from Zambia affected a lot of people. When I was in Zambia, I was paying school fees for more than uh, 60 to 70 uh, uh, street kids. You know, I, those days we were even discussing yesterday. I, I received some people that came from Zambia. We are together and we are discussing yesterday. And uh, the the lady who led the delegation said to me, "You know, see, one, there was a time when I met you on the street. You carried money in the car boot, and you were sharing the money to the people on the street." If you don't know CIA1, those of you that don't understand, go to Chainda, Chainda Market, by Chainda Market bus stop there. I used to carry money from the boot because uh, to me, I believe in it, let me eat. I don't believe in uh, piling money like your politicians are doing right now, piling money abroad, you know. Uh, millions upon millions of dollars abroad when you die this is what people don't know this is what people don't understand when you die who is going to eat all those money <laughs> i i i i went to check on a property the other day here we we are looking for a property we went to this very very huge uh, company factory it was a meal fact it was a meal factory the man built massive infrastructure the meal and so on and so forth but today the children don't care about those things all those investments are wasted and now they're looking for who to buy the property from them so the money that you are supposed to use to develop your country you are piling it abroad china uk offshore account and so forth and so on and you will die any moment from now you even if you be a trillionaire even if you be a billionaire let me tell you something you don't know the money that you enjoy out of that your billion is the one that entered your mouth the one that is in the bank is not yours. When you die, you won't, they won't put it in the grave with you. When you die, they will never bury you with the money. When you die, the money you have in offshores, all those things, the other people will take care of them. The money, your own money, your money, even if you have trillion, is the one that you use to buy food and eat. Even the one you used to build the house, it's not yours. That house that you built, it's not yours. Those houses that you are building, they are not yours. When you die, other people will occupy it. <laughs> the one that you actually need is the one that goes inside, inside your stomach. The one you used to buy food and eat. 
That is why I myself, you know, sometimes I look at police and I laugh. They are greedy. You know, somebody is having a hundred million US dollars. What do you want to do with it? People are dying. People, people are crying. People are hungry. People are, are going through hell. And someone has hundred million US dollars, 200 million US dollars, 50 million US dollars. And it's not in the country, it's outside the country, it's in the bank. <laughs> I mean, what 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 is the benefit? It's not yours. It wouldn't be yours. You would die. The only money you have is the one that you use to buy food and eat. It enters in your body. When you die, you are going with this body to the grave. But you cannot go with the money to the grave. So what where is the greediness coming from? You eat what belongs to others. You eat what belongs to you. You pack the money, you stock the money, you are a billionaire, you are this, you die, <laughs> you leave the money. So that's why me myself, that's how I found that's how I found life. So if you ask people from Chainda Market bus stop there, anytime I stop my car there, that lady was reminding me yesterday when I was sitting in a meeting with her. She was telling me, I remember that is how I remembered you. You used to come to the market, you open your booth and you start distributing money to people. That is how life is. You know, that is the reason why we make money. We don't make money to bank them in outside the country. <laughs> you know I mean, you will die very soon. When you die, who will eat those money? Your children may not even need it. Uh, your children may not even touch it. Your children may not even... Oh, do you just come on earth just to come and work for your children? Uh, you know, sometimes I look at it, I, uh, that, that woman reminded me yesterday. So I was laughing. So this is, it was my lifestyle. My lifestyle has always been, let everybody eat. Let eat eat everyone eat i everyone that is around me i don't like to see them hunger i don't like to see them suffer i don't like to see them uh, going through hell when i can be able to help i share everything that i have i share everything that i have so all those uh, over 60 children that we are going to school in zambia because of me they they all dropped out they are no longer going to school. They are back on the street. Many of them are even dead. So when I was in Zambia, you benefited a lot. Even if many people fought me, men of God fought me, politicians fought me, PF made my life a living hell, you know, in a space of a uh, few minutes, I lost everything that I had, you know, I, I didn't I didn't hate the country. I love the country. And one day I will shock you. I will come in the country and and you know bless the people of the country. Unfortunately, I'm not going to stay there again. In life there is level. I've passed the level of staying there. I know the ministry that I did there. I know the ministry I did in South Africa, and I know the ministry I'm doing here. I passed the level of coming to stay with you again. But I, I'm going to visit. When I visit you, I pray for you. When I visit you, I share with you what I what I came with. Sometimes do as I say. I, you know, I bless your country and so on, and come back to my country. Uh, I'm so big now. God has blessed me so much. Those of you that are here, uh, you don't know who Sia One is. After this broadcast, you, you go through uh, the page and see what God is doing here. Uh, I lost everything in Zambia within a space of few 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 days. But everything that I've lost, God has given back to me twenty times double. So. I'm not, that's why I'm no longer angry with Edgar Lungu. Uh, I'm no longer angry with the PF. I'm no longer angry with anybody. I forgive everybody because that was actually a, a promotion. God used them 
actually to promote me from where I was to where I am today. Edgar Lungo is now a friend of mine, just like any other person. Uh, I don't have grudges with anybody. You will even be shocked when the time of campaign comes. I decide to campaign for Edgar Lungo. This is a uh, in this is politics there is no permanent uh, enemy there is no permanent friends and this is who i am when i i started working with hh hh was my enemy from 2015 2016 2017 all these years he was my enemy he couldn't even believe that i would stand up and support him but it happened you know uh, I supported him. If you check today, most UPND press, a few UPND uh, press singers, the you know, see how one is this, see how one is that, see how one. This is politics. You don't have permanent enemy. You don't have permanent friends. A any moment from now, in few years' time, all of us will die. You know, and nobody want to die being an enemy to anybody. That's why I'm not enemy to anyone, you know. I was enemy with Eddie Galung uh, because I was campaigning against him. And uh, if I decide to campaign for him, if I decide to work for him, because like I said, all these things that was said about uh, about Eddie Galung, I am the one that engineered them. When you hear about corruption, corruption, Eddie Galung is corrupt. I am the one that engineered them. The, just like now, those days, there was no media that was be, that was supporting HH. The only media that, that was with HH those days was Kosue. And, uh, and uh, what is the name of this one? Kosue and, uh, and, uh, and Watchdog. And you know they they didn't have that uh, they they didn't have that catalyst to push the agenda. I am the one that pushed the agenda that made uh, uh, Edgar Lungu look like Satan and so on and the corruption, all those things. I am the one. I was the engineer. I did all those things, and that is politics. So when I, you, many of you can say, ah, see, I want to say enemy to Eddie Galungu. Eddie Galungu realized his mistake. No, it was a mistake for whatever we did to you. Actually, PF realized their mistake before they won election. I told, I told many of you, you know, PF realized their mistake before they won the election. They, they came back to me and they said to me, look, see, I want, we are sorry for what we did to you. We are willing to build you a, a, a cathedral in Zambia. That message came from uh, Mr. Anes Bruce. Anes Bruce is the owner of Port Belly Karahari. He's there in Zambia. If I'm lying, you can ask him. He is the one, no, see, I want, now, all of us will have realized that we made a mistake. Forgive us. We are bringing you back to Zambia. This is what we are going to do for you, a cathedral and this. But by then it was late already. One thing about me is that if I commit myself to something, once I commit myself to something, I don't go back. Nothing. If Jesus himself will never tell me to go back, I don't accept. Once I commit myself on something, I proceed. So by then, I had already committed myself to campaigning for HH. I proceeded. It was when they discovered that I proceeded that they involved the government of Nigeria. It was late already. You know? So we, we became enemies. I remember while I was still in Zambia, my church was PF church. My church was campaign ground. I, I showed you proof before. We are very good friends. They did a lot of good things for me. I'm not going to lie. You know, I'm not going to lie that I didn't benefit anything from PF. I can't lie. 
PF did a lot of good things for me uh, 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 when Sata was alive. Sata gave me the deal to bring in uh, 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 oil supplier that will supply oil from Angola to Zambia. Honorable Christopher Yaluma is, uh, is alive, is aware. You can ask him. I link him up to our chairman in South Africa. The, everything went very, very well. In fact, let me tell you, PF was so good to me. But uh, along the line, uh, everything they promised to do for me, they did it. But along the line, you know, when you are a leader, there are so many people that uh, deceive you. You may be a very good person. You know, uh, like I always say, church is a very good guy. He's a very good man. Same as Edgar Lungu. These are very good guys. Before Edgar Lungu became a president, the, the guy was so humble. He was so accessible. He was, the day that Sata was being buried at the Hero Stadium, he made so many of us cry. On the day of his campaign, I, I released the, my cars for his campaign and so on. But people who do not understand uh, the relationship, they came, they took over him. They started misleading him. They started misguiding him. Usually leaders are good. Leaders are good. But people that deceive them are people who they call their advisors are people who they call their ministers, are people who they call their their what, this and that. You know, Edgar Lung was a very good guy, but he was deceived. When he was deceived, they told him, oh, see, I want this, see, I want to put our country on fire. See, I want... That's how the deportation came. Where is the... Where has it landed now same as hh hh is a very good guy i've i've i mean i've known him i've known him it's just that i don't want to talk about him now because politics has not started the reason why when you see me if i want to do when i want to do policy it's at night i don't do politics during the day when I'm doing politics, it's a shut down show. You know, uh, the guy he was a very good guy. Very, very good guy. Very humble. He was taking advice. You know, he was really, really advisable. But he took over power as usual. There are people that have surrounded him now that are telling him to say for a whole president to open a toilet is commendable. And when people talk, no, how about PF? Edgar Lungu say I can also I can also commission I can also commission a, a toilet. <laughs> PF is the measuring uh, ruler now for UPN. So every nonsense that PF did, you must do it. Why did we remove them from power now? Why? What is the need? Why did we remove them? If you must compare, the reason why PF was removed is because they failed in one way or the other. So from their failure, when someone says ah, a, pre a whole president commissioned a toilet, PF did it. Where you voted because PF did it. <laughs> eh? So this is because the HH is a good guy, but he has surrounded himself with fools. Fools that don't know nothing. Fools that will die in jail. Fools that... Where are those guys that surrounded the Digalung? Those guys that surrounded the Digalung? I mean, Father Frank Walia. Eh? Where are they? Where is Frank Walia today? Is he not with HH? The same parasite have left where they were eating before they have joined UPN and they are busy destroying UPN. A whole president 
Not even a district commissioner will commission a toilet. A whole president went and commissioned a toilet. And when people talk, ah, but PF did it. I was even reading on a... Uh, on uh, ZNBC today, they are talking about inflation in Nigeria. So that people will come and say, ah, but see, one, your country is this, your country is that, but you are not talking about your country, you talk about Zambia. A whole national broadcast. Hmm? Here in uh, here in Nigeria, there, they don't not they don't even know what is, uh, ZNBC is. They they don't know that there is a country. The NTA, Nigeria National Television Authority, don't know that there is a country called Zambia. <laughs> that is also to show you how powerful I am, how influential I am there. All those things you write about Nigeria, you write it because of me. A whole national broadcaster has become a disaster, a playground. So if I decide to attack a church, if I decide to fight a church, who is going to wage the war? Who is capable of waging the war? At least for PF, those guys who were so, so sophisticated, Smart Eagle was so sophisticated, uh, 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 there were too many. Even uh, Mwebantu was with them. They were so sophisticated, they could counter things that I say. So if I decide now and say, okay, we are all out for a church, who is going to fight back? When I, when I come out with an exposure, you post that, uh, uh, how about Nigeria? <laughs> You were not elected to compare yourself to Nigeria. You were elected to change the life of the people. It was very wrong for a whole president to commission toilet, even if it was one million toilets. You compare yourself to Nigeria. I mean, you Nigeria. By the way, Nigeria is suffering. Have you been to Nigeria, please? <laughs> Nigeria, Nigeria do. Projects of uh, Nigeria do projects of billions of dollars, not millions. Just here in Imo State, my state, our GDP is bigger than the entire GDP of of uh, of, of Zambia. And you are comparing. I we don't compare these things. I, that's why you don't see me compare this thing. All of us loved her church and wanted. Uh, we wanted him to succeed. Personally, to me, I had an agenda of at least 50 years of UPND because I know that any day that HH leaves office, that guy, that guy, that guy is finished. I know. Any day he leaves office, whether in 2026, 20, 2030, 20, 2030, 20, that will be the last day he will experience life. I know. And I didn't want that to happen to him. I don't want that to happen to him. My project for UPND was 50 years project. So that by the time that uh, UPND would have left power, HH would have been in his 90s, working with a walking stick. What will you do to a man that is working with a walking stick? <laughs> but because of his, the people that are advising him, the people that surround him, he's shortening his stay. He will be fought. I will fight him and I will defeat him. It's not even a... It's not even a... a it's not even a... Me and you can argue here. The few press singer that are remaining, we can argue here. But when the time comes, you will dance the dance that PF we are dancing. And the reason why I want him defeated is not just because of him. 
He has surrounded himself with criminals, with thieves, with looters. A few days ago, we had a, a news that uh, Milungolungu has agreed to forfeit 24 million US dollars. And uh, because of that, he will not go to jail. And many of you are clapping. You don't know the details of those deals. I am going to tell you that I know the guys from State House that went and entered that agreement with Milungolungu. I know how much they, ha they have received. I know how much HH has received. This, that's why when you are playing with the devil, Give to Caesar what belongs to Caesar and give to God what belongs to God. Then you will live long. But if you think that you are clever, you won't live long. If I come here and share, to, and share with the nation exactly what happened, the people that went and sat with Milingolungu, how much they received from state house, Many of the, that's why Eddie Galungu was a very clean man until I came and started telling people, okay, check here and check here. That's what they are going to do to a church. There is a lot of dirty thing that is going on. Dirty, the day I will come and say it has started, <laughs> that's not why I came here. Time for that is coming. All right, that's all right for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutatim Pondum. I love you. Peace. I gotta go.